हेलो फ्रेंड्स तो आई रिसेंटली अपडेटेड माय फोकल टेस्टर एंड आई हैव मेड फ्यू चेंजेस द लास्ट फोकल टेस्टर व्हाट यू सॉ दैट वाज मेड विद द एमडीएफ बोर्ड एंड दैट गॉट बेसिकली सम मॉइस्चर सो आई डिसाइडेड टू अपग्रेड द टेस्टर एंड दिस इज माय न्यू वन सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन लाइक व्हाट थिंग्स आर देयर इन द न्यू टेस्टर द कंस्ट्रक्शन इज सेम लाइक आई हैड विद द प्रीवियस टेस्टर बट देयर आर फ्यू मॉडिफिकेशंस एंड द न्यू कंस्ट्रक्शन इज क्वाइट clean so i'll show you what new things are there and how this test was worked made so so this is the knife edge and uh, uh ronchi post i would say uh, i can connect the ronchi grating and uh, the knife edge on this here uh, i have used a uh, 10 mm led i'll show you like 10 mm green led which i purchased from the Uh, market so you can see like i have connected this green led with a power source uh, i can uh, on and off this green led so this is one thing uh, other than that uh, let me explain you the entire construction um, the entire construction is same like uh, i have used this uh, pipe you can see like uh, on this basically the upper uh, unit will move front and back it is there i also use some sort of teflon type you can see here so it will move smoothly rather than the one i have used the ice spring here so that will go on this uh now on this tester uh, the major component what i have attached that is uh, this uh, dial gauge uh, this dial gauge basically uh, gives reading in millimeters uh, it's very precise so and and the, so whenever i'll move and take the knife edge reading this dial gauge will give me a reading in 0.01 mm so it is having some to uh, 25 mm range and the minimum reading it is having around 0.01 so for the precision purpose i have decided to use this dial gauge and this will be used for the purposes as well um, so this is one of the major i would say uh, add on to this tester i have also used this time the uh, 6 mm 25 threads per inch uh, uh, bolt so this will basically match with this one so the entire one turn basically will be uh, one mm turn you can see here so this is this is another thing uh, other than that uh, now uh, for the lateral motion on the left and right motion i have uh, created a top uh, uh, board uh, so it will it will rather than going in angular motion now it will go in a straight motion left and right so you can see like it will go left and right and here i have basically used some teflon for the smooth motion so when i will i will use this uh, bolt uh, it will it will go to the right direction it will, if i loosen it it will go into the left direction for the knife edge cutting uh, for the precise moment and on this basically i have used the rubber band i used uh, a small spring but that did not work because the spring quality was not good so rather i decided to use the rubber band so this is how this tester is made you can see so for the lateral motion for the left and right uh, i use this component this bolt and i have also used this uh, uh bolt head this is basically uh, called dome nut so uh, this this dome nut is used for the clear motion clean motion this dome nut is used here here you can see it is there and it is also used here that is for the uh, for the precise uh, alignment of the knife edge Uh, it is not required as i told you in my previous video because the my tester is a, a moving source tester which doesn't require an alignment with the uh, slit but i still decided to include it for whatever purpose <laughs> so and whenever it will move and there is a there is a you can see there is a steel strip here so whenever it will move back and forth it it won't give any uh, damage to the plywood board so this is how it is made 
from here basically I, I i can select the i can do the alignment of the angle so when i will move it direction it will basically uh, change the alignment and um, dial gauge i have already uh, explained to you so um, it is having a 25 mm uh, total uh, measurement distance so let's say i am at do, doing the knife edge reading if i will go back it will start counting and i will this take this measurement for the uh, counter mass reading Uh, I have taped here in black tape so I would not get any stray light from the LED this is this is how it is made I can also uh, move it slightly uh, and this is the way basically it is connected to the uh, top board uh, power bank I have already shown you it is having uh, two small cells triple cells this I on these two cells you can see uh, Durasol Ultra uh, this uh, cell unit I purchased from robo.com and uh, LED basically I purchased from the market this 10 mm LED green LED it costed me around uh, uh, 5 rupees only and uh, I purchased it from the Lamington Road and uh, to connect the LED uh, you also you should always use uh, uh, the matching uh, registers so registers are below here i connected three 10k uh, 1k registers but as per the rating basically i would have uh, connected less than 100 ohm register would also work but it is working so i i decided not to bother about that so uh, this is how basically you should always connect a register to you know light on your led otherwise led will burn out check the register rating for your uh, led you can do some online calculation as well it is there on the google so this is how it was uh, the green light green led 10 mm led you can see here the entire unit is this the entire uh, focal tester uh, it has a movement of front and back uh, left and right you can see i have used a shirt button here uh, to prevent any damage to the plywood and and uh, movement of the angle from here okay uh, for focal measurement uh, the quarter mass measurement I have shown you like I have connected this dial gauge uh, which is controlled using this uh, uh, bolt with a dominant here uh, this is the most costly component I have used here uh, because a dial gauge will cost you um, starting from thousand rupees to you know ten thousand and more so this one is the basic one uh, you can get uh, dial gauge from uh, online from Amazon or you can buy it from the market. I basically purchased it from a dealer. So this inch size dial gauge it costed me around uh, 3000 rupees. Uh, you can get some other dial gauge in uh, let's say 1000 rupees, 1225 uh, uh, but, huh, but those will not have a range of 25 mm. So the basic dial gauge you will get on Amazon and 1200, 1300 rupees or 1500 rupees that, that will have only the 10 mm a total distance reading I would suggest to buy the 25 mm overall distance reading dial gauge because that would be used for your future purpose as well for any other purpose as well uh, so best to buy the 25 mm entire uh, measurement length dial gauge uh, 0.01 mm is as I told you is the minimum uh, distance it can calculate and uh, yes this, this was the only costly component but it is not 100% required you you would have seen like in my last uh, focal tester i used a handmade dial uh, which was uh, set on a 1 by 420 screw uh, quarter inch screw quarter inch bolt i would say and it was giving a measurement it was divided in 50 parts and it was giving a measurement of minimum 0.001 inch so that that is basically enough but for more precision uh, you know for uh, uh, better precision I would say uh, you can you can buy this and you can you can make you can attach it with your focal tester that will give you better reading so this is how it is made uh, I'll show you the screen as well uh, so this is the screen I made uh, this is basically x-ray film and in that I have cut the window 
here you can see it is the knife edge knife edge basically i purchase from the market this is a blade of exacto knife you can get it from a hardware shop and this is basically handed lpi screen so uh, when i want to check uh, the uh, with when i want to check the wrong chi i i connect it like this and i see the reflection here from the back side when i, I when i need to take the uh, focault reading focault test when i need to do i select the knife edge at the 50% position of the led and i get its reflection here and then i see and i take the photographs so this is how the tester is made uh, the similar way basically you can make your tester and you can use it uh, this is this is a quite an upgrade i did for my tester and it's, I, it's going to work for 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 a longer time i would say a very good tester i would say and and this is the way basically you can make it the the bottom board is 9 inch length and 8 inch width so 9 inch by 8 inch is the overall uh, uh, the size this tester is having uh, i purchased uh, this board uh, which is having already having a, a sunmicro on this so uh, in around 20 rupees 20 30 rupees from a, from a dealer uh, who sells older plywood and i had it cut on a machine and uh, the clean cut uh, that guy basically cost uh, charged me around 100 rupees for this clean square cut i would suggest to have it cut from the market only so you will get pre cut very clean cut uh, plywood or the boards um, and will not be worried about uh, all other things to uh, to do the proper measurement to make this tester so yes this is this is how it's how it is made uh, you can you can make your tester as well in the same manner same way very simple to make uh, make it well as much as good you can make your tester because the test when the tester would be good you can take a very good good kind of measurement okay this this thing basically this is a this is a foam a piece of foam uh, pu foam i would say this is the pu foam the black pu foam i have used to you know uh, <coughs> stick it it is having the wires here it is basically hiding all the wires and register and the back side of led and this is also helping me not to get a stray light coming from the led so i just uh, to you know uh, otherwise i would be very much bothered from the uh, stray lights so this is giving a very uh, very good clean view from the wrong key as well as the from the focal measurement so yes this is this is how it is made uh dial gauge top board for the front and back movement you can see here for for left and right movement here this one control from that particular board uh, angle movement this is not required but i still attached it uh, power bank here a connections led you can see from the front uh, i can i can close it and start it whenever i need and at the bottom i have uh, used these four fiber bushes i would like i would say legs okay uh, here it is at the both side i have used the tap teflon strip a uh, two teflon strips are at the bottom for this smooth movement so because this is smooth movement is required otherwise uh, you will not get good focalled images or or the reading i would say because you need a very fine uh, movement to cut the knife edge so here it is uh, i hope you liked it and this is the way basically you can make your own tester focal tester or on tester as well thanks thanks a lot for watching the video thank you bye bye